Hello, my name is Diva. I'm a therapist and a Lenormand Cards instructor. And today we are going to talk about Lenormand Cards in Brazil. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but the Lenormand Cards are very popular in Brazil. Uh, this deck is actually more popular than Tarot in Brazil. Some people don't know that, but this is uh, 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 true. Uh, it's more popular, it's more used than, than Tarot. And as a result, I don't know if a, this, was, this is one of the reasons. Uh, in Brazil, we have, it's my home country, and uh, we have a whole, uh, whole uh, Brazilian school, Lenormand Brazilian school. We have our own way to, uh, uh, our own meanings for some cards. Some cards, we follow the, the same uh, uh, meaning that you guys know already in Europe, in, in USA. But some of the cards, and I'm going to explain, not just today, but in the, the coming uh, uh, meetings, the coming videos, uh, uh, some of the cards have a different meaning than the traditional European meaning, okay? Uh, we actually, I'm going to uh, read a, a text here that's about, because we don't know why those meanings are different. Uh, for example, card number two, we're going to talk about that uh, in a minute, okay? And up until now, no researcher has demonstrated evidence of why uh, this deck in Brazil adopted the name of uh, gypsy cards. This is another a difference. Uh, Lenormand cards in Brazil can be uh, called gy gypsy cards, okay? And why some of the cards have their meaning different from the ones used in the rest of the world. Because also until now, I, I have no idea, uh, we Brazilians have no uh, uh, information that, that, that in some other place uh, this happened also. That uh, has a, a, a other country that uh, have their own meanings for the Lenormand deck, okay? Anyways, and it, it, until now, there is no any na, na, any researcher uh, have, uh, have found uh, any uh, um, evidence of why this deck in Brazil is called is a, adopt that have adopted the name of gypsy cards and why some cards have their meaning uh, different from the ones used in the rest of the world. Okay, it, it's known that this deck probably arrived in Brazil around the 19th century with the arrival of the Portuguese royal family in Brazil, okay? Increasing the cultural, cultural exchange between Brazil, England, and France. There is no evidence of any connection, connection between this deck and the Roma population, the Romani or Roma population, okay? Thus, there is no explanation for its name in Brazil being established as gypsy cards. So, uh, we in Brazil we, uh, uh, have uh, uh, a number of dif different uh, uh, behavior when we use this deck, okay? And now, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about uh, card number two, okay? That actually is the most uh, remarkable difference between the Brazilian and the European deck, okay, the Norman deck, is in card number two, okay? While in, in some Brazilian uh, uh, Lenormand decks, we will find card number two showing images as logs or logs in the road, on the road, or stones on the road, like this deck that is called the Sufi Lenormand by Mirta Herrera, she is not Brazilian, she is Argentinian, but she lives in Brazil for a long time, so she's already a Brazilian author also. But in her deck, she has two cards number two, in the European way 
and Brazilian way. In the European way, she used a little bit of artistic uh, uh, creativity. Like you can see that this is not the four leaf clover. This is a, a Persian violet of Yemen. Okay, because the, the theme of the, the, the deck very Sufi, Middle Eastern. So she got number two symbolizing luck, good omens, because this is a very rare uh, flower. And when you find it, it's in Yemen, it's a sign of luck. Okay, and she also made a card number two uh, depicting uh, bamboos, like logs, or stones in your way, uh, in the Brazilian way, because card number two for, for the, uh, uh, in the Brazilian Lenormand school, uh, is, um, how can I say, obstacles, overcomable obstacles, but obstacles. So this is the Brazilian way. Okay, Brazilian way, usually you will find card number two uh, showing images of, of logs on the road, stones on the, on the road, meaning that we will face some obstacles to overcome. In, in the European decks, okay, you can see here, uh, shows usually European decks is going to show some kind of, uh, doesn't matter, which kind of art, but it will be a four-leaf clover, meaning good luck and good omens. This is usually what you, and <laughs> stay with me on this. In Brazil, we will find both. We will find decks with the European way and Brazilian way, okay? European, uh, taking, uh, talking about luck, in the Brazilian way, talking about obstacles, okay? Anyways, this is one very interesting curiosity about uh, uh, the Lenormand deck, because uh, I, I found that, that there's not uh, many people that know about the difference in Brazil, okay? And again, card number two in the traditional European way is good luck, Good omens, does not matter how things are, everything is going to get better, okay? And uh, in the Brazilian meaning, there are uh, some logs, you, you will find some cards with logs in the middle of a road. This here is very artistic, uh, artistic. unfortunately I have none here uh, uh, from Brazil, but usually are logs on the road or stones on the road. And uh, means that there are some obstacles in your way, in your path, but they are overcomable. It is nothing too serious or that will block your way. It's just uh, uh, something in your way that will make your work, you work harder to achieve your goal, okay? But you will get what you want. It's gonna be a, a, a time of learning for you, okay? For today, that's it, guys. Next week, we're gonna see card number three, okay? And again, my name is Diva, and every week we are gonna be here with some curiosity about the Lenormand cards, okay?